EPOC is a mobile operating system developed by Scion, a British company founded in 1980. It began as a 16-bit operating system for Scion's own X86 compatible devices, and was later replaced by a 32-bit system for X86 and ARM. Scion licensed the 32-bit system to other hardware manufacturers, such as Ericsson. To distinguish it from the 16-bit system, the 32-bit operating system was sometimes EPOC32. Technologically, it was a major departure from the 16-bit incarnation, which came to be called EPOC16 or SIBO. In 1998, the 32-bit version was renamed Symbian OS. After Nokia acquired the rights to Symbian in 2010, they published Symbian's source code under the Eclipse public license. In 2011, Nokia rescinded the open source license for subsequent releases of the software. Name The name EPOC comes from the word epoch the beginning of an era. The name was shortened to four letters to accord with the names of such software innovations as Unix and Mac. Initially, the operating system was capitalized as EPOC rather than EPOC, since it is not an acronym. The change to all capital letters was made on the recommendation of Scion's marketing department. Thereafter, a rumor circulated in the technical press that EPOC was an acronym for "...electronic piece of cheese." When Scion started developing a 32-bit operating system in 1994, they kept it under the EPOC brand. To avoid confusion within the company, they started calling the old system EPOC-16, and the new one EPOC-32. Then it became conventional within the company to refer to EPOC-16 as SIBO, which was the codename of Scion's 16-bit mobile computing initiative. This change Freedom used the name EPOC for EPOC 32. In June 1998, Scion formed a limited company with the telecommunications corporations Nokia, Ericsson, and Motorola. By buying into Symbian Limited, as the new company was called, the telecommunications corporations each acquired a stake in Scion's EPOC operating system and other intellectual property. Symbian Limited changed the name of EPOC, EPOC32 to Symbian OS, which debuted in November 2000 on the Nokia 9210 communicator smartphone. Topic EPOC 16 1989 to 1998. EPOC was developed at Scion, a software and mobile device company founded in London in 1980. The company released its first pocket computer in 1984, an 8-bit device called the Scion Organizer. In 1986 they released a series of improved models under the Organizer 2 brand, but the 8-bit era was ending. Scion saw a need to develop a 16-bit operating system to drive their next generation of devices. First, however, they needed to engineer a 16-bit single board computer—something that was extremely difficult at the time. They codenamed the project SIBO, for Single Board Organizer, or 16-bit organizer, 
To develop the SIBO hardware and software, they needed samples of the 16-bit microprocessors they would be programming, but it took more than a year to secure the chips, which caused a significant delay. By 1987, development of EPOC was underway. It was a single-user, preemptive multitasking operating system designed to run in read-only memory (ROM). The operating system and its programs were written in Intel 8086 assembly language and C. When the operating system started, it opened the pre-installed programs in advance so that the system could switch between them quickly. To enable users to write and run their own programs, EPOC featured an updated version of the Organizer Programming Language (OPL), which was first published with the Scion Organizer. OPL was a simple interpreted language not unlike BASIC. In 1989, Scion released the first 16-bit computers to be equipped with the new operating system, the MC200, MC400, and MC600 notebooks. Each of these had an Intel 80C86 processor, but differed in some other specifications, such as memory capacity. Among the later SIBO devices were the Scion 3 1991, 3A 1993, 3C 1996, and Workabout series, as well as the Siena 512K model 1996. The final EPOC device was the Scion series 3MX 1998. The user interface differed by device. The notebook computers had a WIMP interface. The handheld computers, which had smaller screens and no pointing device, except input from a keyboard or a stylus. On screen, programs were represented by icons, but on smaller devices a user could also access them via specialized buttons. Topic EPOC 32 1997 to 2000 In parallel with the production of the 16-bit devices, Scion had been developing a 32-bit version of EPOC since late 1994. The move to 32 bits was necessary to remain competitive, and Scion wanted to have a mobile operating system they could license to other companies. This meant that the system would need to be more portable than their previous efforts. For the 32-bit operating system, the engineers wrote a new object-oriented codebase in C++. During the transition period, the old system came to be called EPOC-16, and new one EPOC-32. Where EPOC-16 was designed specifically for the Intel 80186 platform, EPOC-32 was built for ARM, a computing platform with a reduced instruction set architecture. Like EPOC-16, EPOC-32 was a single-user, pre-emptive multitasking operating system. It also featured memory protection, which was an essential feature for modern operating systems. Scion licensed EPOC-32 to other device manufacturers, and made it possible for manufacturers to change or replace the system's graphical interface. Because of the licensing arrangement, Scion considered spinning off the software division as Scion Software. Scion's own PDAs had a graphical user interface called Acon. Visually, Acon was a refinement of design choices from Scion's 8 and 16-bit devices. Topic: <releases>, Releases 1 to 4. Early iterations of the EPOC32 were codenamed Protea. 
The first published version, called Release 1, appeared on the Scion Series 5 ROM v1.0 in June 1997. Release 2 was never published, but an updated ROM version 1.1 for the Series 5 featured Release 3. The Series 5 used Scion's new user interface, Acon. One of the first EPOC licensees was a short lived company called Geofox. They halted production after selling fewer than 1,000 units. Another licensee, Oregon Scientific, released a budget device called Asaris. It was the only EPOC device to ship with Release 4. Topic. Release 5 EPOC Release 5 premiered in March 1999. It ran on ARMv4 processors, such as the Strongarm series. In addition to its email, messaging, and data synchronization features, it introduced support for the Java Development Kit, which made it capable of running a wider variety of programs. In 2000, EPOC's GUI variations were replaced with three reference interfaces, Crystal was for devices with a small keyboard, Quartz was for communicator devices which had some telecommunication features, and tended to be equipped with a thumb keyboard, and Perl was for mobile phones. Each classification supported VGA graphics. Scion deployed Release 5 on their 5MX series 1999, Revo 1999, Netbook 1999, Series 7 1999, Revo Plus 2000 and Netpad 2001 devices. Ericsson rebranded the Scion Series 5 MX as the MC218, and Sonic Blue rebranded the Revo as the Diamond Mako. Like the original devices, the rebranded versions were released in 1999. The Ericsson R380 smartphone, released in November 2000, was the first device to be distributed with EPOC Release 5.1. This release was also known as ur 5 u The U indicated that the system supported the Unicode system of text encoding, an important feature for the representation of diverse languages. Scion developed an ER5U-enabled device codenamed Conan, but it did not advance beyond the prototype stage. The device was intended to be a Bluetooth-enabled successor to the Revo. Topic: <inaudible> Symbian 2000 to 2012. In June 1998, Scion Software became Symbian Limited, a major joint venture between Scion and phone manufacturers Ericsson, Motorola, and Nokia. The next release of EPOC32, Release 6, was rebranded Symbian OS. It decoupled the user interface from the underlying operating system, which afforded device manufacturers the ability or burden of implementing a graphical interface on their devices. The final version of Symbian OS to be released was V10.1. The final update was published in 2012. <laughs> 